War is the H word. This is an episode I feel overall rather positively about, although something... I, I, it'd be interesting to identify, because the episode does nothing majorly wrong, although it doesn't quite fall into the... or arise, rather, to that status of what I would consider a great classic episode, although I can't think of necessarily a major flaw in the episode. Maybe the conclusion isn't that clever or funny, it Just it's almost like a kind of flat, like... Well, not anti-human, but like, um, you know, the, the balls kind of ascend into space and then nothing really ch- changes. I don't know. And the, the, the bender and the anti-human, I mean, that, that's kind of funny, but what's the, the, the co- there's not a cohesive, it's not really like a, a, an effective, not that it has to be, but like, you know, American military satire and the way that, um head in the polls was for the election Well, cycles. it's just as much a Starship Troopers satire as it is an American military. So it's, it's satirizing the American military. Which is already a satire. Through so something else. Awkward. Yeah, yeah. Similar to the Willy Wonka episode, episode I suppose. Yeah. Maybe that's the thing keeping this down. Because, like you said, it's not an all-time classic, but I, I have a pretty large fondness for it. Perhaps just because it is just going for the laughs, and it is really funny. Whereas it, 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 yeah, it doesn't definitely doesn't have the lofty ideals of some of the more other well-regarded future armor episodes. Yeah, you know, it's definitely a good episode for the Fry and Leela dynamic. You know, just because it's it's. Kind of oh, that's the best part that. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Leela is doing the um, the Milan sort of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then um, it's got one of the best jokes. I, I mean. I, I can't. I, I always just laugh out loud at it. It's got to be one of Futurama's best jokes, where Fry's like, you know, sort of re- doing a bit of recon. And he's like, "Oh, I got to break down that gate, get those two guards, and steal their vehicle." And then Leela does it. Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, I did it." And then he's like, he realizes that that wasn't him. Like it wasn't just his. Like he pictured it in his head, then did it. <laughs> he, he he observed someone else doing it, but thought that it was him at the same time. It's just such a clever joke. He's just so wished that that was him. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he wanted to do. Oh, yeah. It, it's like the perfect Fry joke. Yeah. Because like, it just incorporates so much of his like, spaced out nature at the same time as trying to be proactive and all that. And it's just, it's too funny. Another brilliant Fry joke in this episode, also involving Leela as Lee Lemon, is <laughs> when one of the other soldiers asks if anyone has a, a special someone back at back at their home and Fry mentions oh Cy got sort of someone and oh. Leela is leaving and goes oh, oh what, who, how, what are they are they you know blonde or Chinese or Cyclops you know obviously trying to narrow down who, who are you referring to me or Amy but then Fry nonchalantly oh Cyclops like that's normal like yeah, that's as normal he, as a blonde he, didn't, he wasn't suspicious of yeah. her saying Cyclops yeah. yeah and it's a very cleverly crafted joke as well because she says blonde at the start as just a little way to throw yeah, it off. And then category. directly referencing Amy with the next yeah, one yeah, and yeah. herself. <laughs> it, it's just so good. It, yeah. It, those two jokes are, make this episode worth it alone. Yeah. And also, as we mentioned before about another episode, which is Poplars, this is this is a very quality... This is one of the most prominent Zap episodes, actually. Yeah, this is another good Zap episode, too. Yeah. I will say, I always found... um, This is the... Kiff's never shows this side of himself again, either. No, it's a one-off joke just about, like, yeah, power. Yeah, I guess because you know? it's one-off, it's okay. When, yeah, when someone gets funny. that tiny slither of power, they'll just abuse it because they've had to do it to... It's similar to, like, high school dynamics with the Year 7 kids, but, you know, by the time they're in Year 12, they're now bullying the Year 7 kids, mm. which they resented when they were in Year 7. Uh, that's how I kind of see that joke. Oh, man. And we got a... It's good they didn't bring that back into Kiff's character, to be honest. <laughs> just gotta say, we got a, um... Henry Kissinger appearance. Oh, Kissinger this is a classic appearance too. Yeah, Kissinger with um, with Bender. I guess that does make the, the Bender's conclusion somewhat funnier as well, that he's tagged alongside Henry, and <laughs> is it, I guess it's topical because Henry just died as well. Yeah, in the last couple of months, right? Yeah, I remember. Um, I don't think it's as funny as Henry Kissinger's phenomenal appearance in The Simpsons. Oh, that's the best, yeah. Where yeah. he loses his glasses in the toilet, <laughs> doesn't want to admit it, but then he accidentally walks into a wall. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's a great appearance, definitely. There's these awkward goodbye with, with, with Burns and Smithers. Do you remember they're kind of just grunting at each other and then Burns just kind of scowls and walks away? <laughs> it's just magnificent. They were at a real stride what, there in season five. That would happen Mercury if they keep that. 
So yeah. it is shockingly accurate. Yeah, I, quite a positive feeling I have overall toward War is the H Word. And um, yeah. not I don't know where it's not falling into all time classic. Maybe there's not a complete enough aesthetic. I, I, I yeah, it, it's it's like a cut and paste sort of episode. That's a point, yeah. And it, yeah, it's not cohesive in the, in that sort of way that people sort of laud the uh, the frankly, yeah, more cohesive narrativized episodes of it's not a greatly balanced Futurama episode. It's going for the jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's why I sort of appreciate it. it. It goes to the jokes and they pay and they succeed. They do, yeah. R- rather than the few episodes where they go for the jokes with a silly premise and it sort of falls flat, like yeah. Leela and Blown's Ball or yeah. various other episodes we can yeah. name, you know. It, 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 it's got the format, the outline of one of those episodes, but it it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think if, unless there is nothing else, I shall close it here. Yeah.